Stuart Burton, General Manager of Applied Research and Development, about Lift Plus, an all-in-one stacker, transporter, and positioner designed to increase productivity and reduce job-related injuries. Magline provides innovative solutions to help customers transport materials more safely and efficiently. Stuart, let's begin with a brief overview of Lift Plus and how it can increase productivity while reducing injuries. The Lift Plus was designed for manual material handling tasks, uh, those tasks that would typically be handled by one or two people without specialized equipment. We concentrate on 350 pound loads or below, which typically in the past has had less attention than say loads that are above 500 pounds or 1,000 pounds, which nobody can actually lift. So you have to dedicate equipment to that. Uh, a lot of times the, the manual tasks are not concentrated on because it's it typically not automated, once in a while, inconvenient, those type of items. So the Lift Plus actually can do just about anything as far as the manual material tasks, including five gallon pails, water jugs, stamping machine tools, those type of items. Particular features that people like is that it's an electric screw drive, and that electric screw drive is actually a 12 volt system with a uh, battery on board that is recharged. The way that we designed it, we designed it so that it's very maneuverable and small, so you can get in through 28 inch doors, then we also have, particular to the Lift Plus, an easy connect system for a multiple number of attachments so that you buy one unit and you can actually swap out end effectors as the jobs are needed. This way you don't have to dedicate five different units to five areas. You have one unit and then just swap out five different end effectors. So this way it's, it, it helps in economics for your operations guys or your financial guys that have to buy this. As far as uh, reducing or helping in productivity, it's a multi-use tool. A lot of people that forget about uh, a number of the steps in moving a load. This product actually becomes a productivity and ergonomic and safety tool. Uh, as far as safety, most people concentrate on back injuries because most people associate lifting with your back. The issue is that there's more to it. Uh, you have to spend energy to actually contact the load with your hands or your fingers. You actually have to lift, you have to balance it, which means realigning your back. So if in case the load is off, you know, the one side or the other, then you also have to transport or walk over something that you reduced your visibility because you have the load in front of you. So this reduced visibility is also a safety factor in the fact that you, you bump into something, trip over. So more than back injuries, you also have fingers, toes, legs, arms, fatigue, different items that are associated with the manual task. As far as productivity, there are tangible and intangible pieces. The uh, tangible ones that the financial guys like to hear is instead of two people doing one job, now only one person has to. Or let's say the operator has to wait for a specialized piece of equipment that's operated by a licensed individual. Now they don't have to do that, especially in a small area. So that's a nice, easy way to measure the benefits of it. Uh, we've used it in lean manufacturing techniques just to that end. So yeah, the tangible effects are the ones that you can measure. The ones that you can't necessarily measure that people are becoming more aware of is the worker or the operator's well-being. Uh, if they're using a tool, the right tool for the job, they're more successful or more consistent, maybe better quality. They feel better, maybe uh, retention goes up as far as that individual, better attitudes. So having the right tool for the job is, is just as important. And I think people need to measure that in the future. The Lift Plus can satisfy all the metrics that the person on task is looking for, as well as the metrics that operations, safety, ergonomic, and financial personnel are also being measured by. And can you tell us about the variety of attachments that are available and explain how they let users quickly handle a variety of tasks? You have to first stop and look at what you're you're looking to move lift because that will help you kind of determine what end effector you can kind of generalize the load does it sit flat does it sit on legs is it heavier to one side or the other does if you're going to do some positioning do you need to be in front of it or behind and then you can kind of go from there again we're under weights of 350 pounds and as far as the sizes are concerned of loads i would consider a compact load something about 18 inches by 18 inches by 18 inches and then a medium 24 by 24 by 24 and a large load is uh, 36 by 36 by 36. the workbench with vice and blocks was actually our first attachment and it was, it was used for uh, a number of different items. It actually has a vise on it, and uh, the blocks are manufactured so that you can hold flat items like boxes, 
or even chop round items so that they don't roll off. The workbench, like I said, has a vise, so you can actually use it for maintenance items. Let's say you have to go out and fix a machine on the floor, or uh, you're doing some cutting or something as part of an operation, you can actually use this because we have positive locking brakes, they're 10 inch disc brakes. So once you lock the unit in place, it's not gonna go anywhere. As far as, uh, we do also have forks uh, with removable steel pallets, and that's for items that are, again, flat, maybe uh, stamping tools, plastic molding tools, those types of items. The uh, round items uh, can actually fit in between the forks so that you have two areas of contact. We do have a fork with a V-tray option. The V-tray in particular allows for multiple diameter rolls from nine inches to 24 inches, which is actually uh, nice for the packaging industry. In the end, we also have uh, an arbor. That arbor uh, can fit inside the cores of round material or reels of, of material. And a lot of times it's it happens to be foils or other sensitive materials that you don't wanna just lay down on a flat surface. So the arbor comes in handy as far as connecting at the core. Also, that arbor can be uh, outfitted with a sling so you can use it like a cherry picker or a crane so it's really up to the imagination of the, of the person that has the issue lifting and uh, with these attachments like I said the attachments are, are swapped out very easily it's it's basically a hook system and you pull the pin on it remove the one attachment and if you have to switch from boxes to say something round you can do it all in five seconds it's really nice because then the operator you don't you don't have to have two different machines you can have one operator, one machine, two attachments. Makes it very efficient. Applications in particular, if you wanted to be specific, lifting medical equipment, files, books, bricks, totes, machinery, bag handling, uh, buckets, barrels, kegs, trash, laundry, tools, furniture, computers, hardware, appliances, food such as like 50 pound bags of flour, paper, tires, batteries, office equipment, the list goes on. Retail stores use it for lifting up different items. You have foils and plastics, roll handling and packaging. It's up to the imagination of the user. And lastly, Stuart, which industries and applications do you think might benefit most by using Lift Plus? Typically, the lean manufacturing tasks that are difficult to automate. And these type of things can be found in, in most uh, most industries. We have successfully placed units in the light manufacturing industry for lifting stamping dies or plastic molding tools. Also swapping out tools in machining centers. Depends on the, the, the units. It, it parts bins, totes for lifting, all in the light manufacturing area. Packaging industry is actually a very good one because a lot of times they have these machines that need to be restocked with raw material. And while the machines are beautifully engineered by companies, the restocking part has not been well thought out and uh, Lift Plus actually fits perfectly within this. So we have had a lot of success in the packaging industry. Printing, lifting of paper, again, uh, restocking the machines, uh, whether it be roll or flat material. Uh, food and beverage, or food processing actually, uh, we've had very good success at, and what they do is they lift uh, four, ba four bags of flour or other goods uh, to hopper height that the operator doesn't have to do anymore. Now they bring it to hopper height, they cut it open, drop it in, they hit the next load. So uh, we've done quite well there. Uh, with this, we've also had these for maintenance groups that go out and fix machines on the shop floor. Uh, laboratories, specialized equipment, which is typically small but heavy and cumbersome. They can move around as the manufacturers of laboratory equipment or the users of laboratory equipment. They typically, uh, in those situations, it's not an automated operation, so they're, they're constantly moving equipment around as they need it for their different research. Computer data centers, lifting servers into racks, positioning. Also, it's computer data centers goes with uh, what's starting to become popular are these energy storage containers that include racks of batteries similar to data centers. We've also had them, uh, I think I mentioned before, in the retail industry uh, where some uh, small independent stores that particularly in, in appliances can actually stack and, and downstack washing machines, dishwashers, TVs, those type of items. Uh, and actually we've also had applications uh, for residential. Stuart, thanks so much for sharing your insight into this innovative new product. For more information on Magline's industry-leading products, please visit their website at www.magliner.com.